is here as tens of thousands of people are traveling to our state for bridge day tomorrow we're going to start out with some sweater weather though tomorrow yes daniel it's going to be a chilly brisk cool morning in fact cold weather early and that's the thing down here at the new river gorge a little bit higher up in elevation there the bridge a beautiful scene the fall foliage is going to be terrific but you have to be prepared for change in conditions in this case temperatures we're going to start off in the 30s out there in fayetteville that's pretty cold so definitely a jack a sweater, maybe even a hat and gloves, a good idea for the early morning. But notice with this dry condition, we're talking about a very quick warm up to near 70 degrees as we get towards the middle of the day, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The festivities there at the Gorge. And comparing to last year, this is much better. I mean, last year we were down in the upper 50s for the highs. It was chilly outside. But in recent years, this is going to be pretty warm, at least since about 2017, the last time we had a high in the 70s there for Bridge Day. The thing is it's a nice comfortable weather pattern only a few passing high clouds outside very dry temperatures are going to be plummeting down quickly after sunset tonight and right now our pattern is continuing to be comfortable for much of the country there is a little system of low pressure off the coast but that's being blocked by this large ridge of high pressure and what's going to happen as this makes its way eastward tomorrow that brings in some southerly winds it keeps us dry but also raises those temperatures just a little bit around here the rest of tonight going to be excellent for those football games, but down to the 50s and 40s there by 10 o'clock this evening. So a sweater or a jacket, a must if you'll be heading outside to cheer on your local teams. Into tomorrow morning, some patchy frost, especially as we head into those sheltered spots blocked by the wind. There is a little bit of a southerly flow that, that could help to kind of minimize that frost potential into the mountains, but still going to be a chilly morning. But by the afternoon, you won't have to worry about that jacket. Into the 70s, very nice, and no major rain chances for the weekend at all. The process will restart into Sunday, down into the 40s, and then back up to around 75 degrees there to close out the weekend. Very, very comfortable weather. Unfortunately, though, what does that mean? That means that without rain chances, our fire danger and potential for things to spread is going to be on the rise. Moderate levels for Saturday, maybe even reaching high for Sunday, and into next week as those temperatures continue to warm up with no issues in the sunshine. The thing is, that does mean that that potential for things to spread out of control will be on the rise into next week. We are seeing a couple of fires down to the coal fields right now, but this picture could be getting more active into the coming days for sure. On the long range, we might even hit 80 degrees here by Tuesday. That southerly wind really picking up outside and still a lot of sunshine. Clouds are starting to come in, though, late Tuesday into Ohio. And the thing is, there's a cold front back into the middle of the country. It's going to push its way in Wednesday. Maybe be a little bit more breezy outside and perhaps a mix of sun and clouds by the afternoon, but still warm into the upper 70s and near 80 as that front approaches Cincinnati. There is a little bit of moisture along this, which might bring in a spotty shower late Wednesday night or Thursday. Maybe a thunderstorm in our northern counties here, but notice it's not a lot of rain. The system passes through quickly. Another blast of northerly winds on the Thursday drops the temperatures down just a little bit into the 60s. But the thing is, it's a dry weather pattern, probably only going to be a light amount of rain, if any, for our northern counties. So that drought is going to continue to expand. That fire danger will be rising and we can expect some seasonably comfortable fall temperatures through next week.